Hi, welcome to Hollywood Book and Poster Company. Hi, Eric. Uh, let me ask a few questions about Plan 9 collectibles. Uh, how often do you get requests for posters and stills and the like from Plan 9? All the time. I mean, since we opened up the store in 1977, I think it does, a day doesn't go by in which somebody doesn't call or come in asking for, you know, anything we have on Plan 9. <laughs> Uh, what kind of items are uh, most requested? Uh, well, the poster, lobby cards, uh, photos, the movie script. What are some of your favorite moments from it? Uh, it's got to be the just about every scene with Vampira. I think is. I mean, I've I've, I've always like been awed and you know fascinated by her her character. Tor Johnson, of course. I think the, the graveyard scenes always sort of stay in my mind. The tombstones that uh, you know, if you look closely, you can see them falling, you know, popping down and popping back up. What is a one sheet from Plan 9 sell for these days? The last one I had went for $1,500. That was about maybe, I sold it about a year ago. Who bought it? Uh, it was a collector in New York, actually. Somebody who, that was the last poster he needed to complete his collection. So he, as far as I know, he has every single uh, Edward Jr. poster. How about a set of lobby cards from Plan 9? What do they go for? I was told the set goes for, for around somewhere between $750 up to maybe $1,000. It's so it's very rare. It's real hard to get those. Uh, what were items uh, like the ones we're talking about selling for, say, 10 or 15 years ago? Probably next to nothing. I mean, I don't think, you know, it's just they, a lot of people weren't aware of, of the film, of the, you know, of, of what a, you know, an amazing cult film it is. I mean, back then, I think you probably could get it for next to nothing. Uh, so, uh... Maybe you can tell us what some of the reasons are for the rise in the value of paper collectibles from Plan 9 and other cult films. Yeah, I think it has to do a lot of it with the, uh, with the, you know, some a lot of the books that have come out, the um, a lot of the film festivals all around the country. There's there's like Ed Wood Jr. film retrospectives all the time, um, and he's you know, I said he's gotten a lot of exposure uh, on television on cable. I think all those factors have to be taken into consideration. How about the Golden Turkeys? Uh, yeah, I, I, I question the motives of the book, but it did bring, bring him into, uh, you know, the inner being with a lot of people who ordinarily would never even have heard of him or, you know, been familiar with him. So it did, it did turn a whole new generation onto the Ed Wood uh, Jr. Uh, films. Uh, are you a Plan 9 fan yourself? Oh, yeah. Always have been. Always will be.